Hi everyone, welcome to our new workshop series, the Illustrator Workshop Series for Beginners. I'm Shen from IT Society, I will be your instructor throughout this workshop series. And today, I'm going to lead you through the basic tool and function of the Adobe Illustrator. I'm using the Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 versions, and the interface first you will see when you open Illustrator. So there's a lot of templates here, you can choose it, but now we will go with the customs. So in the customs, you will see there's more templates you can choose it here. But for now, we will go for the A4 size. Click create. And then here you can see that this is the interface we have when we go into the illustrator. So if you don't have the interface as I do, the layout, you could link it to the window, go to the workspace, and click on the essential classics. If you don't have the things that I do, you could Go to the reset essential classic, you will see this interface. So now at the top of the interface, you can see the document setup here. And here you can adjust all the setup of this document as you want, including the edit artboard. When you click the edit artboard, you can adjust the size of the camera as you want. So when you're happy with it, you could select the selection tool to exit the adjustment. Then the interface, the camera, will be the size we adjusted. And next, you see the preference here. You know the preference. You can adjust all the things you want at here, all the settings of the interface. So the first, including the user's interface here. You can see the brightness here. You can adjust the interface. You can see black, medium white. You can see all of this here. So we go to the medium dark here and also the UI scaling. You can change the UI to be larger as you want. So I'll go to the small one, click OK, set up. Alright, we are now ready to go. So now let's take a look at the bar at the left here. By default, we will on the black cursor with is the selection tool. And every tool will have a different cursor. As you select it. So first we are going to go with the easiest tool to use, the shape tool. You can see by default it will be the rectangle tool. Okay? And when you right click it, there will be more tools showed up. And if you think that it's too troublesome to right click it, you could click the thin bar here to expand it. And you can direct choose the all the shapes here, like the polygon. And by default, it will be the hexagon here and if you want to draw another polygon with different sides you might select the polygon tool and you click on the camera then the second show up you can choose the sides you want here let's say you want to draw a pentagon click ok and done then we can draw a pentagon here okay so and for the ellipse tool can draw the over, but if we select the also hold shift and drag, we will get a perfect circle. Then goes to the rectangle. If we didn't that hold the shift, we will have a rectangle. It can be adjusted, but if we hold shift and drag, no matter how we drag, we will have a perfect square. So now let's delete all this. Let's draw a rectangle first. And now I'll walk you through the colors we have here. And first, you can see these overlapping boxes here. And this is the fill and the stroke of the rectangle. The fill will be inner color of the rectangle, and the stroke will be the outer line color of the rectangle. So, you can change the color by the various ways. So, first, you can change the color at the top here. You can see. When we expand the window, you can see another colors here. You can change here. We can change by double tap the fill. Change colors here and click OK. To change the color. And the dot, you can see the small expand panels here. here. Expand it, then you can see another color changing panel here. You can choose another color. And now then goes to the stroke. You can change the color on the top here. 
and the other way here. So now for the shirt, we have more setting to go with. At first, we can go with the wag of the shirt. As here, we can adjust thickness of the shirt. And also we can adjust the pattern of the shirt. Like this, it's not obvious, but let me take it. Let's see. If we change it, we can try all this that we want to do. Then, here, we can also change the transparency of the shape if we adjust the opacity. Alright, and in the illustrator, and also, you can see a small arrow here, which we can swap the color inside out of the shape. Just click it. And when you're not happy with this color anymore, you can reset the color by clicking it before. Okay. When you think that the one thing that you need to use, but you don't want to place it on the camera first, you can place it at the outside of the canvas and just save the form like this. Okay, so when you're done, you can save the file by going to the file here, click surface, then go to the file that you want to save, rename the file such as new and click save. You can direct save the file like this, then leave all by the default and click OK. Alright, that's all for me in this video. Hope to see you guys next time and have a good day. Bye!